So, if the pipe here has the length L and diameter D, we can define um, Q here to be total amount of heat transfer from outer surface into the fluid inside. All right. Uh, let's define it more clearly. Now, suppose in, in general problems, temperature of surface here may not be constant. It may change with respect to position as well. Suppose the temperature of the surface here at the inlet of the pipe is T01. And that at outlet here, temperature is T02. Okay, these two are at the surface. Inside for the fluid, the fluid at different position or at different R supposed to be different temperature. But if you find average temperature of the fluid at this position, do you think it would be the same average temperature at that position? Suppose I find, I, if I calculate bulk temperature or average temperature of the fluid itself, at this point and at that point, do you think these two values would be the same? No, right? If you heat it up, you supply energy into the fluid, fluid should warm up. So temperature, average temperature should increase. So if I think I call this one TB1 at the inlet and TB2 at the outlet, okay? This one is at bulk. We call this one bulk fluid, okay? So if I enlarge the picture, you have a wall, the cross-section wall of the pipe. If the temperature here is T0, suppose this is inlet, this is T01, at this point is T02, okay? At any point along the way, you have T0. Okay, then you have fluid or liquid flowing inside the pipe. So from here down there, that's the pipe. That's the inside the pipe. This is outside the pipe. All right. Now, in reality, the temperature profile would make the fluid here has different temperature, but we may assume that, let's call this, normally the temperature profile may be something like this, this one is heater hotter, warmer than here, okay? And actual temperature profile may be something that is nonlinear, something like that. We will make approximation that fluid around here should have 
let's assume it to be constant temperature. And then fluid near the surface, suppose this is T01. Let's have the change occur near the surface only. So I'm going to draw another region. All right. This red region here is called film resistance. And we will assume that fluid within the film resistance layer has temperature change with respect to position. There will be a change in temperature profile within film resistance. Outside the film resistance, we call this one bulk. And there will be no temperature change in the bulk. Okay? And this temperature in the bulk can be found by just integration, this here. So if the value for the temperature in the bulk is TB1 here and TB2 there, okay? The temperature difference between T at the surface and T at the bulk create the driving force for heat transfer. All right? And again, we like to calculate based on the temperature information at the inlet and the outlet of the pipe. We, can't, we do not have information regarding temperature in the middle. So we will define amount of heat here, the capital Q would be amount of heat transfer integrated all over the length of the pipe. So if you integrate amount of energy transfer, let's say you have high flux here and low flux there, there'll be a change in flux. Suppose the heat flux locally change with respect to length like this. You have great flux around input area and you have smaller flux at around the outlet. Okay? Each point would be the local flux. If you sum it up, integrate it across the length or across the surface area of the pipe, you get total amount of heat transfer Q. Okay? Q here can be calculated based on temperature input and output according to several definitions. The first definition would be Q, Q equal to yeah, HA delta T. Okay? We will still keep the, the basic formula. Q equal to HA delta T. However, the first one is called H1, delta T1. All right, where delta T1 here, of course, area here is pi dl. Okay, pi d is circumference multiplied by length. You have surface area, the heat transfer area. Delta T1 in this case is T01 minus TB1. That means delta T1 is inlet temperature difference. According to this, to this definition, it means that if you use this equation, we can calculate total amount of heat transfer into the pipe based on inlet temperature difference only. So it, you do not care the temperature difference around here. Just calculate the whole 
Q here based on these two temperature difference. Of course, doesn't look good, right? So this one is just the, the first one invented. The second one will be improved just a little. In this one, again, Q here, the total amount of energy transfer from the first equation or the second equation supposed to be the same number. All right? The area is supposed to be the same number as well. The only difference would be the temperature, the driving force here. If you calculate driving force for overall heat transfer based on inlet temperature difference, you use this equation. If you calculate temperature difference for our system here, based on both inlet and outlet temperature difference, then we can start using this one, okay? Now, by definition, the delta Ta is delta Z is T01 minus TB1 plus T02 minus TB2 divided by 2. The first pair here represents the temperature difference at the inlet. Okay? This is T01 minus TB1 is driving force at the inlet. This subtracted by that. On the other one is T02 subtracted by TB2 is driving force at the outlet. So this calculation are based on average driving force. You find driving force in the inlet and the outlet and then you find the average value. Okay? So this one is called arithmetic mean temperature difference. Alright, so arithmetic means temperature difference would give you better results if you think that temperature difference here and there, I mean along the way, would change with respect to position linearly. Right? If the delta T at the input and output and in between change linearly, then finding average is supposed to be correct. However, sometimes delta T along the way may not change linearly. Sometimes delta T at the input here is very big and down here it's very small. Along the way may be nonlinear. So using arithmetic mean may not be correct either. But of course it's, it is better than using only from the inlet point. Okay?